You'll come with nothing, but leave with everything. See, the people that were placed in your life as placeholders for the true tribe that's supposed to be connected to you spiritually, these people overlooked you. They talked down on you. They didn't think you was of any value because how God presented you to the world during this time period of you coming with nothing, but all actuality, you had everything. It was just within you. It hasn't materialized. These people couldn't go deeper within themselves and find the hidden treasures that God has placed in them. So they base their reality, they base their world solely off of material things of what they can see, what they can taste, what they can touch. And you came with nothing that fits that format. Everything that you came with was of higher spiritual realm. You came with fruits of the spirit. Knowing yourself that you was full of riches and abundance because God has placed it in you. God has shown you this your whole entire life. But these people were blind to the nothingness that you came with. Not knowing when your interaction and your encounter with these individuals was over, when it was done, when God said enough is enough, that when you move forward, you will have everything that was already laid up within you in the physical. What I'm saying is a lot of your blessings is tied up. A lot of the things that you are seeking God for, a lot of the things God has placed on your heart, the blessings and the things he's shown you, and you like, why it ain't here? Because you still around the very people that you've been supposed to cut off. Those things that are within you can't be birthed into this physical because you're not around the right people. Those people that you're around was only supposed to see you coming with nothing. Because the bigger picture of it is God needs to show them. God is, needs to deal with them. That you can't judge a book by a cover and that you need to go within and find your treasures and stop basing your view of this life, of this precious thing we call life solely on material things. Because if they couldn't see the value in you because of the lack of material things in your possession, tell me what exactly, how do they feel about themselves? Because if they're looking solely for someone to bring in material things for them, that automatically tell you what type of space they're in. You, that tells you how they feel about themselves. That's a direct indicator of how they feel about themselves. And they're just projecting that onto you. They're seeking the material things because they don't have it themselves. And a lot of them don't even know where it's at within them. Because you got to seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then all those other things will be added onto you. For the kingdom of God is within you. You're leaving with everything. Think of David. He came with nothing, very little. Goliath laughed at him. A slingshot in a rock. On the other end of that, when he defeated him, he was the king. He had everything. Joseph, his family tried to kill him. The boy didn't even have nothing. He didn't have nothing but a dream. He ain't have nothing but a vision of what God showed him he's going to be doing and a, and a placement he's going to have on this earth. And his family wanted to kill him for that because they wasn't blessed with that. They wasn't blessed in that position. It ain't like the kid had it. And then it was just a kid. It ain't like he had diamonds and riches and golds and chariots and all this old stuff at that moment. No, it was just a vision. 
It was just the him saying, look, God said I'm going to be doing this. God said I had a dream. Mom, pops, I had a, a dream that God showed me this. He telling his brothers, is, his brothers, hey, bro, look, I had a dream. God showed me this. Boy, they tried to kill that boy. <laughs> and then not to add on to it, he had to favor his father. So, you know what I'm saying? But the kid didn't have nothing. But he left on the other side of that. When he left, he cut ties with them and he went on his way. He went through his trial. He went through his different things he had to go through to, to, to get him ready for his position. But he left with everything. And I'm just uh, a few stories. Jesus came with nothing that the world could see. All these people on the mission, they came with nothing that the world could see. But all alone, that abundance was in them. Jesus, he didn't come with the materials because those people weren't in, those people weren't connected with the depths within themselves. They couldn't find the abundance within themselves. Anyone that's always looking for abundance in the world and, and oh, what can this person do for me? What they bring, they don't have it within. They can't find it within because anybody that's abundant within ain't no already know. Like, I'm not looking for nobody on that level, on that abundance time. It's within me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to match energy. I'm trying to match souls. You feel me? Jesus came on a donkey on the ass and all he did was spoke truth and told him told the folks his position and title within the kingdom of God these people crucified him it dang, it, it wasn't because he had a million dollar mansion he had a, a Billions of dollars. He had gold everywhere. He came wearing a crown. No. It's all because he found that abundance within himself. But he came with nothing that the world could see, but left with everything. Because he still had, when he left, he had the abundance within. And then rose with all power and authority of the physical. Cut ties with people, folks you supposed to cut ties with and watch your account add zeros and decimals. Y'all know what it is. G-Wells with them.